So just a quick introduction. Today we'll be talking about the most preferred communication channel by the prospective students, which is WhatsApp, of course, and how two-way inbuilt WhatsApp can help you in increased conversions. So I'll get started with my introduction first. So hi guys, I'm Tanisha Sharma, working as a marketing specialist at Extra Edge and of course your host today. I'll be helping out with your questions and queries during the webinar. So Abhishek, over to you for a quick introduction. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tanisha. Uh, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, you know, Abhishek. People call me Abhi and I'm the co-founder at Extra Edge and super excited to have all of you here on the call and uh, you know look forward to taking uh, you know a lot of questions and answering uh, you know uh, things related to whatsapp and whatsapp business especially for education brands where we specialize so uh, you know super excited uh, i lead all the growth efforts and work alongside tanisha at extra edge and uh, extra edge just for a quick introduction is uh, you know leading sales and marketing solution built for education brands we work with near about 250 or brands all across the globe, uh, along with university, group of institute, coaching, test prep, vocational, scaling, study abroad, uh, as well as K-12. And have been doing this for the past five years now. And, uh, you know, we are headquartered in Pune, and some of you already know us. And so, yeah, super excited and look forward to answering some of your questions and showcasing you the power of WhatsApp for uh, marketing and, you know, outreach for education brands. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you for the introduction. I'll just quickly set up some ground rules for everyone. So basically, just a little housekeeping before we get started. So if you have any question during the webinar, please type them into the Q&A section, which is uh, basically in your Zoom control panel. And I'll bring that during our Q&A section within the webinar. And uh, we'll be also shooting, you know, a few polls during the course of the session. So I would request you guys to engage with them. So Abhishek, uh, let's get started. I would definitely want to know, first of all, that how communication channels, you know, have evolved with time. So definitely notice board is something very interesting. And I would like to take over. <laughs> I need to take over. So... So yeah, it's a funny pun on how communication has evolved, uh, you know, especially in education marketing, Tanisha. So, uh, you know, I remember the days where I used to go to Bharti Vidya Peet and, you know, the admission notices and those circulars were put on notice board. They still are put on notice board, by the way. So it's not that it's dead, it's defunct, but that was the only way that we used to know about what is happening and circulars about results, uh, about, you know, uh, about dates and critical timelines be it in Pune University or Bharti Vidya Peet or even Delhi University. But I think it has moved from more, uh, you know, notice board to letter, then, you know, phone calls was a popular medium, then emails, then came the advent of chatbot. And you must have recalled that we have done a few webinars on chatbot itself, where we spoke about the power of bots. And uh, now with WhatsApp and Meta opening up its wings and making WhatsApp available to a lot of consumers, we have seen this communication evolve. And this is a very consumer-focused phenomena, uh, Tanisha, because you see that today when we work with brands like, uh, when we interact with brands as consumers like Make My Trip, Book My Show, or any airline as a matter of fact, uh, the communication that we receive from them uh, is over WhatsApp business enterprise. So was WhatsApp business enterprise with their payments also that got launched in India this year after the approval, that has become the de facto way of how even businesses communicate with us along with how people communicate with each other at WhatsApp as the default mode anyway. But we have seen that this year, because of regulation being eased out in India, WhatsApp has become the number one conversational uh, tool for every businesses around who deal with consumers. And education is a business where you know you end up talking to consumers and they are your they are your customers at the end of the day, I would say. So yeah, so it's very pertinent and this evolution has happened. Uh, and it has happened very, very rapidly in the last few years. Definitely, Abhishek, definitely. Uh, we spoke about how in general, you know, Make My Trip and everyone uses WhatsApp. Why don't we talk about some stats which are actually relevant for education industry and how, yeah, how they can basically target their prospective students? 
yeah so there's a surprise that tanisha so you know uh, i think the surprise is the next slide right that uh, in india there are 400 million users of whatsapp and guess what guys that you know 18 to 35 comprises of 50% usage of whatsapp in even in india which means that there are 200 million users active daily active users on whatsapp who are gen z and who are your target audience by the way now we are thrown a lot of stats right but there is a hidden inference in the stat that talks about that a lot of these kids who are in the age group of 18 and 35 these are basically course buyers and even there are a lot of parents there right for kids who are probably in schools uh, and they are basically your target audience and they are they are on whatsapp which means that it's very easy it's very easy tanisha to move the behavior of interacting with consumers to interacting with enterprises because they have the same smartphone and they are talking to their mother father their sister and wife but they are now also talking to the businesses there so i think the most important thing tanisha here is convenience and ease how you could switch from talking to your mom to talking to a you know a brand who's selling a course to them and that all happening very legitimately on whatsapp so it's a it's a very stark revelation of how the user persona has shifted towards gen z and that's exactly are the target audience for education brands today you know that that makes it even more important for them from a macro standpoint to understand that uh, the behavior change is almost negligible and that's the default communication for these kind of users definitely abhishek i feel the whatsapp usage has also increased drastically during the the course of time now right so right and, and especially especially anisha on during pandemic right when mm -hmm. we were not able to go outside uh, mm -hmm. you would have seen that that a lot of commerce was happening on whatsapp and you know when you are not able to meet people then the only way we could do that is make them a call or make them a video call but you know whatsapp has become the preferred mode of communicating with each other uh, you know taking over text uh, very very clearly across the globe now and india being the at the forefront of it along with some other countries yeah agreed agreed abhishek um abhishek why don't we now talk about like how has the education world you know evolved with respect to ease of communication sure yeah 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 of course uh, tanisha i think the, the 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 bit is that that it's very important to understand that how the communication in education has evolved over a period of time and uh, if you if you kind of look at it right then you know we were in a world of brochures which are still there i think we still print out brochures for outbound events and uh, from brochures we went to a uh, website from website to landing pages from landing pages to you know uh, to more of call chat bots and whatsapp now all of these tanisha still exist it's not that few of them are dead right but the relevance and appropriation of one of them has become very very important as compared to other ones so probably what brochures are being distributed today on whatsapp but it's not that brochure has stopped right in this case so i think there's a gradual increase in how these things have transpired over a period of time from uh, being uh, you know how how this communication has moved and what kind of collaterals are being shipped out today from respect and ease of communication so but it's very clearly evident the fact that whatsapp and bots and chat are are complementing you know website landing pages and brochure distribution tanisha calling is still very prevalent but these three modes are very important to disseminate information and disseminate marketing material you know correct correct abhishek so now that we know okay whatsapp is preferred by the students and gen z how you know how the marketers have to target according to the funnel moment i think that is very important to know when to use the whatsapp with other communication channels as well so abhishek why don't you tell our audience about this particular thing yeah of course of course so you know one size fits all does not work tanisha you know it's very important that you really understand and again these slides will make it available for all of you uh you really need to understand your funnel and most of you do because you work in admissions and marketing so you know right from the top of the funnel where you work with raw data or optical contacts to then you verify them then there are some warm uh because then you have made a phone call send them a whatsapp they have replied to you then they are hot hot means that you have, they have shown some kind of commercial interest they have said that they will come they will buy uh, there's a deadline there's a timeline for it and then finally they go and fill up form or application or they form a contact us form or a inquiry form 
now they become applications and finally there is an interview or a walk-in or a demo class uh, as you call it right and then finally uh, you know they take admission and pay the pay the money and if you see that uh, you know on top of the funnel we recommend tanisha and and, and this is something that uh, ladies and gentlemen i would like to emphasize on i think there's a misnomer and there is a and there is a bias in the market which a lot of vendors push you that please send whatsapp to all your contacts i think that's a mistake you know whatsapp has a lot of policy and if you are spamming uh, which you end up doing right your account might be blocked so the smart way of doing it is that using text email and calling on the top of the funnel primary email which is a good reach and then starting whatsapp communication when the kid or the prospect has shown some kind of interest complementing it with calling and then using whatsapp from warm towards the enrollment across the funnel from a transactional point of view also a bit of promotional point of view primarily from a transactional point of view right so that's the way of thinking about it that primarily use whatsapp to uh, what we call convert and partly nurture from when they have shown some commercial interest of buying a product from you so i think uh, and also i would like to stress another point tanisha is that that this needs to be used in conjunction with other modes of communication so yes. it's not that text is dead or you know or or emails are dead which a lot of people claim no uh, a smart marketer uses these things in conjugation or in combination with each other where they make more impact on the basis of the funnel that they are in i think that's a smart way of thinking about it and using these kind of uh, communication mechanisms but uh, the writing is on the wall that whatsapp is more relevant from the warm stages onwards to the enrollment stage for transactional communication and a bit of promotional communication for deadlines and so on and so forth i would say so yeah so that makes it very interesting and relevant uh, it's very very impactful tanisha for the later stages application deadline completing the application uh, a slot in interview and enrollment fee payment notifications and things like that so for notification they are basically the and i would say that it's it should be the de facto medium of communication along with emails right abhishek i feel that uh, you know people should also keep on analyzing the marketer should keep on analyzing which platform is performing best for them which communication channel is performing absolutely absolutely and and like people analyze open yeah i mean the like people analyze open rates click rates tanisha in emails they should mm -hmm. also analyze you know whatsapp response rate how many people are blocking them and spamming them if they are then i think they need to be very uh, kind of uh, careful about how they are communicating they will realize that they are doing more raw and more verified and not probably warm hot and applications you know correct correct abhishek so i guess so uh, abhishek now that we have built up the curiosity why don't we just move to our product demo and show them that uh, how inbuilt whatsapp can be used with our crm yeah so so guys basically we have tried to build a case that how this whatsapp can be used over a period of time and 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 you know why it's relevant today and most of these things you already know so we are just trying to corroborate with some data points and what we have seen so there are different kinds of whatsapp uh, activities that could be done right and uh, i mean the first is you can use whatsapp in bulk uh, approved via templates that's the api part uh you could put this approved template into a drip marketing communication in whatsapp uh you can then have one on one chat which extra specializes today inside the inside your marketing automation crm and then you can also have a bot that could answer repetitive questions and queries to it right so uh let me uh, kind of share my screen uh, tanisha and segway and showcase to the people very quickly and then hand back to you okay just let me know tanisha when you are able to see yes. my screen are you able to see my screen yes abhishek okay so uh, let's look at it in this way uh, you know i mean that's the that's our extrage product so how can you use whatsapp so this is your lead this is your opportunity uh, all what you can do is that you know you can start a communication to uh, or whatsapp to somebody uh, by picking their primary number picking up a template and sending it to them now this is as simple as sending whatsapp to a person what happens is that uh, whatsapp api opens up and this message 
can really go to the student right away, Paritosh in this case. Now, this is one-on-one, -on -one, Anisha, right? You have, a, you have a kind of restriction here that this could only be sent one-on-one, -on -one, but it's still pertinent and it's still relevant, uh, I would like to say, very, very much, right? That you could send these one-on-one -on -one messages to them. You can even type them and send it to them. So here, the difference is that you can type and send to them. Right, but it, because it's one on one, that's that's one way of thinking about it. Now, the another way of thinking about it is that that you can put these uh, uh, you know WhatsApp uh, in terms of what we call enterprise, where you could start a chat with the candidate here itself. So let me show you an example of my own number. So, so this is me. Uh, I just pick up my WhatsApp, the enterprise. So we call it non-enterprise, and we call this one enterprise. I pick a primary number. Uh, and I say, I want to start. So you see already Tanisha, a communication is happening between Abhi, the student, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the organization who's on WhatsApp business enterprise. So here uh, I can chat. Hello, this is, this is uh, maybe counselor XYZ. So, so basically I'm chatting on behalf of the institute and the organization, right? And, you know, and, and when the kid receives these uh, messages, he can clearly, so here the kid has received these messages, you see here in this case, and he can just uh, type back to, uh, you know, take these official accounts. Hello. And the important thing, Tanisha, here is that, that which I would like to emphasize on, that's the official WhatsApp business account uh, that we help you set up for enterprises. So this is what we call a green tick. So we do a green tick. We help you set up these accounts. And this is your official account with your official address, official email ID, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then now the kid is literally does not see a phone number. He's talking to a brand. You see Tanisha, right? So here yeah. I'm talking to a brand. So the message came from the counselor. This counselor XYZ. Uh, I say, can you help me with course details? Right? So as soon as I uh, say that, Please help me with course details and those details, right? Uh, I am the counselor. I have a brochure already available with me. I go, you know, pick up that whatever brochure and whatever, I mean, uh, you know, kind of a, a thing that I have. So let me put something like that, right? And I could kind of send it across to the kid right away. So I am able to now communicate by sending him brochure, QR code for payment, PDFs, images, video links, links to fill the form and so on and so forth. So for example, now, just a quick example, right? I want to send him a payment link. Okay, for example. So I can bring up a payment link, generate a payment link, and I could send him a payment link if I wish to in this case. So here, let me kind of, you know, demonstrate that that what could be the potential use case. So I want to send a payment link. Uh, I generate a payment link for a course, say UG, and say amount is around 10K, set an expiry date, and I kind of generate a link. So the link has generated uh, basically Tanisha and I can go and pick up this link Tanisha and I can use the same link to then clearly say that, Hey, look, you can tell your parents that why don't you make that payment? So, you know, that's the benefit of having this one-on-one -on -one communication with a kid in real time. It's like closing the deal kid on the go. The kid has already received these kind of links. He can go ahead and make the payment and the deal is done. That's again a very core power of uh, of using WhatsApp. And another very critical important thing, Tanisha, is that we live, in, we live in a world of security and privacy of data. So what happens is that here enterprises can protect what is being sent to the kid, right, under the whole umbrella and false promises cannot be made. Or if the kid or the parent tomorrow comes back and says that, hey, you said this and that, there is a verification and proof here which can be used. And by the way, Tanisha, all this can be done using approved templates. So these are the approved templates uh, where you could always, you know, type, you need not type it. They can just can, can be sent it out to the candidates right away. So that's the power of doing it on a single click here itself on the system, right? So that's kind of uh, very much possible. Uh, and also what you could do is that here, that if Abhi uh, in this case has, uh, you know, parent details too. So for example, my... This is my parent detail. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe I kind of update my parents detail too. And once I've updated, you know, kind of my parents detail or details of my parents, I can even go ahead and, you know, and say that I could send a WhatsApp to them also. 
if they are there. So here, as my parent is already established, right? I can do an at the rate and I could send this WhatsApp even to my parent if I wish to. So this communication can be done not only with the candidate, but with the alternate contact numbers which are associated in the system uh, if, if you wish to very, very clearly, right? So that's that's another important bit. Now the third bit, Tanisha, and before we kind of stop here is that, that all of this can be put into automation, right? So I could say that, hey, look, if the kid belongs to Bombay and they have enrolled for a course called BCom, for example, then I would want to probably change some statuses and I would want to send him two WhatsApp messages uh, on a day's interval and a second day. This could be very good for a deadline, for a newsletter, uh, for you know a walk-in or a webinar or a seminar that's happening, Tanisha, or a offline, even offline and online. And these can be set up into action and they can go like a clockwork uh, and also we could choose to send it to mother, father, primary number, alternate number. And we can also, Tanisha, decide. And that's a beauty that when the kid replies back, who this notification to, should go? Should it go to the sender or the lead owner? And, and when these kind of communication comes to us, Tanisha, here you could see that on the WhatsApp chat window, uh, we will get to know that who are the guys communicating with him. So there would be a notification like a chat notification. And you can go ahead and, and talk to them and kind of close them if you wish to. So that's also uh, very much possible. So I spoke about three things, Tanisha. I spoke about the non-enterprise one-on-one. -on -one. I spoke about the uh, one-to-many where you could have communication, send out collaterals to it. And I also spoke about automation that you could perhaps do to it. Uh, so uh, that's that's also a very critical part to it. Now, uh, I think there's, uh, there's a very important part also, Tanisha, that I wanted to touch on was, uh, you know, uh, is the ability to uh, also do that, you know, uh, using a bot. Now that is very, very relevant. And I quickly wanted to also, you know, talk about that very, very promptly. So here, you know, it works like a very clear chatbot where, uh, let me, uh, sorry, let me share my screen, right? So this sure. is my screen. Yeah. So here again, bot works very, very simply and well that, you know, I just say hello and, you know, it pops up me to it and it asks me questions about admissions. I can even type or, or I can do that. I can even do a using a word or I can and do that. So I want to know about undergrad program, but then I also want to know about uh, eligibility and criteria for my, or maybe I want to know about course and fees slowly. So long, immediately I get to know that, hey, this is the course, this is the fees. I can go ahead and click on a link and pay that. So, you know, this can also be put, uh, you know, in this case for a from a bot's perspective, and this bot can also kind of work very well. This is one of our customers that we do for them. So that's also possible. So, you know, so, we have covered, you know, all forms of WhatsApp communication and all can be put on autopilot, Tanisha. Can, it's, it's an interesting topic. We can keep on talking about it more and more. It's very exciting to put WhatsApp to work, as I say, into marketing automation and to engagement and in the outreach activity. Uh, but that's like a gamut of things that you could potentially do with WhatsApp. And all of this, Tanisha, needless to say, can be done on a smartphone too. I think it's a very good way to keep students engaged, you know, telling, giving them all the information, on-time engagement. All these can be done on just a single platform if you're using an inbuilt WhatsApp. Sure. So let me just share my screen again, Abhishek. Yeah, of course. Let me know if it's visible to you. Yeah, it's visible, Tanisha. Okay. So now that, you know, Abhishek spoke about how you can use and build WhatsApp, how you can make use of WhatsApp automation, I would like to talk about something about, you know, how you can use it to make student communication effective. What are the use cases? Basically, if you want to send application form reminder, you can send it via the safe templates that we will do for you. So we'll have some safe templates in the, uh, in the CRM itself and you can send it across. So the student name, you can see the lead full name. These all are the variables and it can be automated with respect to the counselor's name, student's name, etc. So of course you can use it while uh, doing the application form reminder, while sharing fee receipt. Maybe you can set up campus visit with the students or you can also set up a video call. So Abhishek, I would like you to add something in this definitely. Yeah, I think Tanisha, it's very important that we think about use cases 
and mm-hmm. use cases are a very powerful way of thinking about communication use cases are basically during the journey of the candidate in the funnel what are the right touch points where you should nudge them and what are those use cases so use cases are like you rightly said a walk in or a campus visit or a video call sending out an address to reach for example if you have a university or an institute at the outskirts and you want parent to come there you would want to send them an address or detailing or their appointment when they have booked a walk in or a video call or counseling session and as you see that these am percent are nothing but mail merge tags which means that it could be very very detailed personalized uh, for uh, thousands of kids at the same point if you want to like a email so that is a power of whatsapp and you know extra edge uh, is a official partner to whatsapp and you know and, and cogno in india so what we could do is that we can help you set up these templates and approve these templates in real time in a very fast pace now that timing has also increased we can do a quicker turnaround for approving these templates so i think what we are trying to tell uh, you know ladies and gentlemen to use that that whatsapp is one bit but what would you send in whatsapp is equally important tanisha i mean it's like you know content is the king right so what is the content that goes on whatsapp is equally the king and it needs to be approved uh, then there needs to be best practices around it which we can always educate our customers but once they are approved then you can put them at the right funnel in the in the in the engagement and they can go on autopilot so these use cases are very very relevant and there are more than you know 500 plus use cases that we have encountered these are some of the examples yes thank you thank you abhishek so yeah. next i would definitely want you guys to know what's in the bag what's the okay my bag sorry so abhishek why don't you tell us how is inbuilt yeah. whatsapp helping our customers sure. so this is so ladies and gentlemen we thought that instead of abhi and tanisha telling you the importance of whatsapp which probably you already know but how how whatsapp can be used from an education marketing principle there are already people who are who are leveraging that at scale and doing it these are some of the examples we just wanted to add some relevant examples with people that you could relate with who are admission leaders and who are marketing leaders in their own organization so you would see that you know uh, not juggling with multiple tabs easier to communicate on whatsapp multi device dependency was there when you were doing whatsapp web uh, this gives us easier way of reducing lead leakage better lead engagement timely follow up faster query resolutions uh, when the kid really has that question or the parent has that question uh, these are some of the terminologies that a customer uses and these are these are these are very relevant for you to that how can you engage them effectively on a medium that they understand where there is no behavioral change so how they are talking to a mcdonalds or they are talking to a make my trip they are also talking to you as a brand so just just some social proof for people on the audience now tanisha so i'll just jump to the offer abhishek that we have in the back yeah before before you jump to the offer i think uh, what i would like to say to you guys uh, I know that you even move on to the next slide. That's perfectly fine. Okay. okay. What what we want to say to all of you is that that WhatsApp is there to be utilized and there to be used. And if you are not there, then you are missing probably the most important engagement and outreach channels that you could tap into. So, uh, please jump on this. It's not a fad. It's literally a bandwagon. And you need to quickly jump on it. And you need to kind of set up your whole systems messaging and things on that. so highly recommend to do that so tanisha uh, over to you to unveil the offer yeah sure thank you abhishek so basically you can get all the features of whatsapp enterprise api for 2 months but please note that this offer is valid only for the month of december and january apart from that what we are offering is we'll offer you 5000 business initiated messages and 1000 user initiated messages per month is what we are offering uh let me just you know give a quick brief around what is business yeah. initiated messages and what are user initiated messages in case you don't know so basically in business initiated messages it's a thread started by a business and sent to a customer so it would require a prior opt in and an approved template when we talk about user initiated messages so a message which is started by a customer so if a customer say okay i you know i need to inquire about this so a customer is sending a message to a business it does not need any prior opt in and no approved templates would be required so yeah 
This is the offer. You can just take uh, one more look. So it would be for two months free WhatsApp API. Yeah, I think uh, the, the thing that we are telling to all of our users and people on the panel that we want you to use it because you have to, you should be getting on and leveraging that. And when you are using it, you need to use in a manner it's supposed to be. I mean, there are a lot of vendors out there in the market trying to sell WhatsApp from different means. Some of the means are not even kind of logical or not even approved by Meta. So you need to have legitimate ways of doing it. And otherwise, uh, you might also get penalized in the future. And there's a risk of your account getting blocked, which we have seen happen to a few of the brands. So, uh, so I think we want you to get and jump on this easily. And that's where the offer comes from, from, from Extraiger's point of view. Yeah. What do you think, so now I'll just open the Q&A section for everyone. You can just start putting your questions in the Q&A section or in the chat section. So Abhishek will take it up one by one. Yep. Sure. So I think uh, we, we should uh, you know take some questions if there are any questions there. And uh, so, so guys, you can use the Q&A or you can use the chat to pull out and ask anything if you want to. And... Uh, if, if you have any kind of questions on how to set up or the modalities of WhatsApp, then feel free to just type it and we are happy to take it. Uh, while uh, it's coming up, uh, Tanisha, there are some frequently asked questions that we generally get. Let me start kind of uh, uh, with that. Uh, is that that how much time it takes to set up the account? Okay, if you want to set up a WhatsApp business API account. So generally, we have seen that, you know, uh, in, a, in a less than a week's time, we are able to get uh, the account approved. Uh, we are able to get the brand green ticked uh, and then we are able to set up some templates and we can get them up and live in less than a week's time. Sometimes it's probably if you have Facebook business ID access because Facebook business needs to approve that we can even complete this in near about 48 to 72 hours. So uh, that's one. Second is question that is always asked to us is that how long does it take for the templates to get approved? Right. Okay. Is it like a three day, four day process? So templates can now get approved in a matter of a couple of hours, right? Uh, if those templates are legitimate or they look good. And we also recommend you that uh, how, how it could be set up. So we are now WhatsApp has made it very automated and fast to approve these templates. Uh, so I think there are a couple of questions. Uh, Nisha, I'm just looking at. Yes, it. Abhishek. So Santosh is asking that, do we need a separate number? Yeah, Santosh, it's a good question. Uh, so uh, you can bring your WhatsApp business number, WhatsApp business number, then anybody can go and take and we can convert it into WhatsApp business API number. So we can reuse your existing numbers. You can definitely do that. The only thing is that the older chats will no longer be available. You can download that. It will it will go away. So yes, your old WhatsApp business and or business numbers or WhatsApp numbers can be utilized to set up your WhatsApp business API accounts. I hope Santosh that answered your question. If not, you can ask a follow-up question as well. So we, we will take the next question, Abhishek. Uh, it's from Adesh. I'm not from education, but from an HR tech, we have a HR product. How can this help us? Interesting. Yeah. So again, uh, Adesh, thanks for putting this question. We only work with education brands. Uh, so, but the, but the use case remains same for HR also. You might want to talk and communicate with a candidate. So you can do that. Uh, but then, you know, uh, we might not be the right, uh, you know, company in the team to help you with that. Thank you, Abhishek. Uh, next question is from Ela. So how will a pre-approved message work out in a day-to-day -day message? If it is a marketing message, it is okay. But to interact with a student every day, we cannot go with the pre-approved text. Yeah. So Ela, uh, what happens is that, that once you send a pre-approved message and the kid responds to you, so the first pre-approved message that you send, as Tanisha mentioned, is a BIM, what we call business initiated message. It goes like a template. But once the kid says hi, hello to you, then you start to talk to him like you are talking to him on normal WhatsApp, like with your, you know, with your probably friends, right? And then all those communication are session messages, which need not require an approval. So once the kid has replied to you, there is consent. And once consent is given to you, then you can talk anything you want to. You don't require a template to do that. So template is just to initiate the conversation, if there is a response from the other side, then you chat with him like a regular WhatsApp chat. So, yeah. I hope this answers your question. 
So Abhishek, we have a next question from Adesh. I already have a WhatsApp, verified WhatsApp business account. So it is easily, is it easily switchable to extra edge? 100% yes. 100% yes. Okay. Adesh, I hope that answered your question. Yeah. I think there's a question on the message limit. I think. Uh... Yeah. Um, Adesh, uh, we can take this offline. I'll definitely connect to our team and they'll call you. Yeah. So, Hardeep asked Abhishek, last time needed to use my personal contact number and call candidates. Do I need to do the same this time or the personal contact details will be hidden and won't be visible to everyone? Yeah, so Hadeep, you need not use your personal contact. I mean, when you set up your WhatsApp business API account, right? The number is uh, not visible. The brand name is visible. The number can be even a US number or it could be a number that you give. So your personal contact will not be visible there. Uh, you know, it will be uh, yeah, just your name and the student's WhatsApp uh, account number will be seen there. So uh, I think once you set up the WhatsApp business API account, your personal contact number will not be visible. Yeah, no problem with you. So I uh, think I'll take another one, Ila. In SMS campaign, it was introduced, but it was very difficult to use. Yeah, Ila, I think you're talking about template approval. Uh, I think that's what you're talking about. So template approval, you're right. It was cumbersome back then, but done with a reason to avoid spamming. But now it has become pretty easy uh, to get it approved. And you know we can really help you get you approved very, very fast and quick. Uh, can we send videos to Tanisha? Let's pick this one. So Naman, yes, you can do that. Uh, you know, generally a YouTube link or a Vimeo link works. Uh, even, uh, uh, you know, kind of a small video of 3MB, 4MB can be done, but highly recommended that you send hyperlinks of uh, YouTube videos or Vimeo or wherever you host it. That's the preferable way of sharing videos. It works. Uh, does your WhatsApp work internationally? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, it works internationally. Uh, only exception are uh, Dubai and Middle East countries where there is a bit of a restriction on a WhatsApp or video and on WhatsApp business. We are still kind of figuring it out what's the best way to navigate that. But uh, the MENA countries, the Middle East and those countries, there is, there's a lot of restrictions on voice calls and WhatsApp business APIs there. But apart from that, it, it works internationally well. Yes, uh, pricing varies internationally too. Uh, you know, the prices are very clearly published on the Meta website. So if you go to the Meta website on, on, on WhatsApp Meta website, the prices are published. Generally vendors or people who sell WhatsApp charge a bit of, uh, you know, kind of a, a bit of premium on top of that, which everybody does, but the prices are fairly standardized uh, and published on the website. Okay, uh, so Abhishek, the next question is from Rushikesh. Is there any daily message limit? Yeah, so Rishikesh, uh, yes, there is a daily message limit for unverified message, uh, you know, uh, who are not verified, they don't have a green tick or like green tick or blue tick, uh, green tick, sorry, uh, the, it's limited to 50 business uh, BIMs in a 24 hour period. So if you're not verified, and if you're just doing it like that, you can only send 50 business initiated conversation in a 24 hour rolling period. But if you're a verified business, uh, and uh, you know, uh, you can uh, give and go ahead and, uh, and target around 1000 unique customers, you could have 10,000 unique customers. So you could do 10,000 beneath 1000 business initiated conversations in a rolling period. So uh, in a, in a, in a R zero and you can, so in a rolling period of 36 or 24 hours, you can do around a thousand BIMs uh, in, in a hour, in a, in a 24 hour rolling period. So, and there's a way to check your limits also. So 50 and thousand are the numbers for you. So the other question is from Mahavir, can we send short videos through WhatsApp? Yeah, so we uh, answer this question. Uh, recommendation is to send video, uh, YouTube and Vimeo links. Uh, Tanisha, uh, but even media is allowed. You can send a media, but then generally you see that videos are shooted on a mobile phone and a cam. They are very high, uh, you know, storage and capacity and WhatsApp does not allow that. So uh, highly recommend that you upload that on YouTube or your own channel and put the link up. But yes, potentially you can send a video too. Okay. 
So the other question is, so after we use the inbuilt WhatsApp API, do we use the WhatsApp via phone or via web portal? You can use in both. You can use in both. So it's accessible on smartphone as well as on WhatsApp web, both. Santosh is asking how to verify our WhatsApp number. Yeah, so there is a process, Santosh, where uh, WhatsApp and Meta has an automatic process to look at your uh, company's registration documents, your DIN or PAN card and details. After they look at some of the official documents that verifies existence of your entity as a legitimate entity, they then end up verifying you as an official owner of that particular brand on WhatsApp Business API. So it takes a you know, maybe a day or two max, but they, they require some of the company formation documents, like, you know, your company registration, your GST number or a DIN and stuff like that, which is pretty standardized. And it could be, it could be approved in a matter of 24 hours. Thank you for answering Abhishek. Uh, Harpal is asking, I'm from a wellness industry, how it will help me? So yes, Harpal, as long as you are selling a product or a course. So for example, one of our customers is one of the largest uh, you know, uh, nutrition and, uh, you know, gym training, gym trainer institutes in India called K11 Academy of Fitness Sciences run by uh, Mrs. Kalyani Kapadia. And uh, they are into wellness industry, but they are selling course uh, to train gym and nutrition trainers. So as long as you are in the industry, but you are offering a course or program, you fit our customer profile. So we could help you. Uh, and if you're not, you are running a spa gym or then, then uh, any kind of other vendor who offer these kind of solutions can definitely help you. I hope that answered your question, Harpal. Uh, our next question is, Abhishek, how many days do you guys take to, to set this up? Abhishek, uh, was I audible? Yeah, you were audible. So, Tanisha, as I told that, uh, less than a week. But it could be done as fast in a couple of days because we require documents from you to set up your business, WhatsApp business API account. And uh, so uh, and if you have an existing phone number, we can take that also very, very quickly. So uh, I think, uh, you know, the average Tanisha is around three to four days. Uh, you know, uh, no, the median is around three to four days and the average is around five to six days. But then we have set up WhatsApp business API accounts in, in a 24 hours. It's 40, 40, 40, for 24 or 40, 48 hours itself for some of the brands. So basically, you know, it's like, you need to be ready with those documents. If you're ready with the documents, the process can be fast. Okay. Okay. Thank you for answering that, Abhishek. Uh, Naman is asking, how can we send the bulk messages on phone? Don't we need to copy our data? Is it possible on uh, mobile? So device? Naman, you can't send. Yeah, Naman, you cannot send a bulk message on the phone. You have to do from our, our own CRM, where you could do in a marketing automation. So uh, you have to use our CRM to do that. And so it, so basically we combine the power of WhatsApp business API and marketing automation drip inside a product. That's how you could send uh, these messages in bulk. Uh, caution, uh, all these leads or contacts should be acquired and they should have a consent. They should not be bought. And second, very importantly, is that a template needs to be approved. These are the two prerequisites. Thank you. Thank you for answering that, Abhishek. Now, Santosh is asking, post business initiated messages, are the messages chargeable? Yeah, uh, in a 24 hour window. Uh, so there is a window of uh, 24 hours, right? So if the uh, kid uh, types and responds to you in 24 hour windows, then you get a 24 hour window where uh, you can communicate with the kid. WhatsApp charges a very small amount for session messages. Uh, but lately this year they have seen the pricing structure and tier so uh, during the 24 hours when you are responding to a kid uh, there's a very minimal to no charges to the session messages there are some charges to the session messages but those are more very minor for storage and security because every message needs to be encrypted at our end you know that whatsapp encrypts every message and anybody who's providing it because we are a service provider we need to also encrypt those messages so there are some kind of charges there but those are very minor as good as free so, uh, but 24 hour window, once the kid has responded to it, you can chat with him and those are session messages which are negligible or they're not charged. Thank you. Thank you for answering Abhishek. I hope Santosh that answered your question. So Abhishek, I guess we are 
done with the questions should we wait for yeah. just so i just wanted to uh, add to it is that yeah i just wanted to add tanisha that there will be even more questions and what we should ideally do is that uh, we should go ahead and publish a faq for all of our users who have registered so maybe what we will do is that we'll publish a faq or frequently asked questions on whatsapp over a period of time and also send it across to you guys definitely definitely we'll be definitely doing that abhishek yeah thanks thanks anisha guys so uh, thank you first of all thank you for joining us and it was a great session with you we had a fun two way conversation uh if you want to stay tuned with our updates yeah. and you know our upcoming webinars i am sending out the okay adish thank you so much we'll be sending out the social media handles in the chat section with the number in it so you can follow us and definitely get to know yeah. about our updates and everything abhishek do you want yeah. to add so you know kind of yeah thank you very much everybody joining on a uh, on a day time and I really appreciate that and you know extra edge and you know me tanisha we all want you guys to leverage the best technologies out there uh, there is also a inhibit interest of extra edge that we will become we will get to work with a lot of customers like you but the more important fact here is that that there is a phenomena happening in the market called whatsapp business api which is very critical for the age group that you target and being in education which is a retail product across the year you really need to have a very clear sense or a clear strategy around your whatsapp and this is something that extra edge will help you set it up build a very strong outreach engagement and communication whatsapp on december and january and the couple of months are on on the house definitely abhishek so guys thank you so much and uh, we'll just wrap here thank you kalpesh yeah thank you everyone